And so if you have a list of things to do right there in front of you, maybe you do, maybe you don't, uh, where on that list, figuratively or literally, does uh, um, getting your generationally brilliant quarterback the uh, nine-figure uh, multi-million dollar mega salary deal that he is due, uh, where, where, where does that stand? Right uh, it's certainly on the list. Uh, okay. you know, the fact that he's under contract this year and in, in 2024, you know, mm-hmm. um, you know, it helps. You know, as far as look, he's here. He's here this year. He's here in 2024. But obviously, in, in the background, yeah, there's there's negotiations that have to go on, and uh, the sooner the better to get something done, just so we know um, what the cost is moving into the future. Um, so it is on the list, um, something that, that we're working on, and you know we'll kind of see where it goes from there. Not to have your negotiating strategy laid out completely on the table, but because um, as you point out, you know he is under contract. However, it's now become uh, vogue, if not expected, uh, in our league to, to, to give this contract to somebody just after three years. Um, where, what is your philosophy on that front? Tom. Well, certainly, yeah, certainly with a contract like his, uh, you know, from my standpoint, the sooner the better. Um, you know, just to have some cost certainty moving forward is yes. exactly what, where we're going to be. Um, we know, you know, building the football team and, um, you know, when your quarterback is taking up a higher percentage of the cap, and it's not just the quarterback. You know, we've had some other players in our roster that are, you know, towards the top of the pay scale at their positions. There's a certain way you have to build the team. Um, but certainly with, with our quarterback and respect to him, uh, just to have some known certainty moving forward. And like I said, sooner the better. But, you know, this process, sometimes it goes quickly. Sometimes it takes time. Um, they're all a little bit different. Um, we'll, we'll work through it and get to the right spot. So, and it, again, when you say, you know, sooner the better also um, in, in our world, in our NFL world, going sooner is also better because – the price only goes up from your point of view. I mean, did you, when when Hertz signed and then Lamar signed, did you immediately go into the details of those deals, Tom? Yeah, that's that's part of the job. As, as contracts come in, you have to look at them and, you know, because uh, their side of, of his agents do the same thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, the prices always go up. Um, you know, I know when we signed Mike Williams a couple of years ago, the, I know when we signed him, I, you know, a lot of people thought the numbers were high. And then about two or three weeks later, all of a sudden <laughs> right. the numbers didn't look too bad. <laughs> right. Um, but when we talk about years forward, um, look, there's always going to be the next player that's going to be the highest paid player. There's always going to be the next player that, that has a lot of money due to him. And um, it's just the nature of the business. And um, but, yeah, in these situations, um, you know, where he is in his career and his age, uh, the sooner the better for us. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.